Casio and G-Shock are back with a collaboration again with NASA. This time they're doing an all orange version. And I have to say, I really do like it a lot. I own the first two versions. Those are white and black. Both of those have been sold. However, will I keep this new orange version? Let's flip the camera and take a look at some of the details. So I actually might end up buying two G-Shocks this week. This is the NASA edition that I purchased already. There is also a Bamford edition coming out later this week as well, which I am pretty excited about. I might end up getting that as well. We'll see, this is a square G, obviously it is a NASA edition, so uh, this is a little bit different from previous versions, obviously it's in orange, and this is all orange. Uh, previous editions were in white and black. I kinda like this a little bit better, in my opinion, for just style purposes. I like the orange, I really like the color orange that they used. Um, it's meant to look like their flight suits. And then they uh, also made this a tough solar, and it is also atomic, so, Really, you cannot go wrong with this watch. Tough Solar are great. You can leave them for like 10 months without a charge and uh, without getting any sunlight and they'll still work. Uh, and then I think it's like 22 months or something like that is the limit as far as they can go. That's pretty insane. This is still backlit. This is uh, backlit, but it does not get uh, like a spaceship or, uh, you know, the moon or anything like that. So, unfortunately, they didn't do anything special that way, but it's still $170, and it's been upgraded to basically Tough Solar and Atomic. So, you're getting all of that uh, at no extra charge because the previous versions, I think, were $170 as well. Really not bad. Uh, you get the 200 meters of water resistance. You get the five alarms. You get all of that good stuff packed into a really sort of compact watch that looks very, very good. As I mentioned, these are meant to look like their flight suits. So astronaut flight suits, they use the exact same orange and it does look like that orange. It actually picks up really nicely on camera. So I hope you guys are checking this out and, and getting that color effect from this. It's really good. And then you again get the uh, American flag on the keeper, which is great. And then you also get, you know, a little bit of uh, the uh, the uh, logo here. It's just the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is NASA. And then it just says NASA on this side. That's basically it. Stainless steel case back. Again, they do a little bit of a special case back on these, which they've done in the past with the other ones as well. Screwed in case back, carbon core, and then of course a little astronaut right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that they did it. Um, and you get a bead blasted buckle on this rather than a polished buckle, which I like a lot, actually. I think it also says NASA under here. No, it doesn't. Uh, will I keep this? I have no idea. Uh, I end up selling all of them for one reason or another. It's 43 millimeters. It doesn't wear like a 43 millimeter watch. Uh, G-Shocks are big, and obviously the case is uh, large. The, uh, the lug to lug is large, 57 millimeters. It doesn't wear like a 43 millimeter watch, it's like 47 at the actual lugs, but then again, it doesn't wear like that. Uh, I'll throw it on my wrist. Oh, and the thickness, considering it's all that's packed in, into these watches, 12.6 uh, millimeters, really not that thick. Of course, you get a mineral crystal on these, um, so this will scratch, but these are actually easy to replace if you want to replace them. Um, you know, you could definitely mod these. I wouldn't suggest modding this. I would leave it as is. This NASA orange is awesome. Uh, I really like it. Very quickly, on my wrist today, I have the Bulova Wilton Automatic GMT with that white pearl dial. It has a map uh, on the dial as well. It's pretty awesome. This is a true GMT with a new Miyota movement, the 9075. I recently did a video about it. Uh, and I have a hands-on video with this, the gold PVD version, and the stainless steel version with the blue dial, which is definitely the one I would go with. Um, I think it looks pretty awesome uh, for the price. It's $875, plus it's a true GMT, which is really the biggest news about those watches. But here is the G-Shock on my seven and a half inch wrist. It's just a very comfortable, uh, really, uh, everyday watch, you know, 200 meters of water resistance. You have all the functionality, 
tough solar, atomic timing. I think it takes six times a day. It corrects its time and, and it's just, I mean, there you go. Pretty cool. Looks really good on my wrist. Let's do a quick, uh, not loom shot, but we'll check out the uh, backlight on here really quickly and then wrap up the video. So there you go. I'm gonna have to keep on pressing it so <laughs> it uh, it won't stay on very long. But there you go. It just lights up. It's 3:05, uh, and it lights up for just a second, just enough time for you to be able to tell the time, and that's it. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of the NASA G-Shock collaborations? I'm a big fan of them. I've bought all three. I sold the two that I bought previously. Um, I feel like I want to keep this one, but you never know. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.